Hello friends, welcome back to the another lecture on the atom boil electrical system. In this particular lecture, we are going to discuss about the electrical starting system and charging system. Now, what is starting system? Let's understand first. For the starting of the vehicle, generally two wheeler uses kick, whereas four wheeler uses a button start. Its button start means we are going to use an electrical motor electrical motor which we use operated by using that particular button so generally for starting of the vehicle what we want you may be knowing from knowledge of internal combustion engine we have to move the piston in upward and downward direction in the cylinder so that there will be suction stroke then compression stroke and then there should be spark once spark has achieved then the vehicle will get started so for occurring of suction and compression stroke we have to move the piston and we have to move the piston means we have to move the crankshaft for moving a crankshaft we have to give a force by either kick or in modern vehicle we are using motors also so our aim for starting the for starting system is first of all i should give movement to the crankshaft and from crankshaft it goes to the piston and piston can move up and downside direction so the motion to the crankshaft may be given manually by the kick or by the button start but all modern kind of the vehicle they are using a button start vehicle now button start vehicle how it works that we are going to see in this particular system now let's understand a schematic arrangement of electrical starting system in the electrical starting system the basic component of electrical starting system is a battery then this is a switch a starting motor a drive pinion this drive pinion is meshed with a ring gear on the flywheel and rotated this actually a pink color i have shown a flywheel the flywheel will have a shaft which is connected to crankshaft directly okay so i have to rotate a crankshaft means i have to rotate a flywheel that is what my aim and then this is a drive pinion in this particular case this particular this switch is under the control of driver this switch is under control of driver so when drivers press this particular button for starting the vehicle this will get on condition and the electricity will be flowing from battery to starting motor this starting motor is a special type of starting motor general starting motor we have seen that it gives a rotary output generally starting motor it require electrical energy as input and output what we required is the mechanical energy so mechanical energy is rotary mechanical energy is expected but in this particular starting motor this motor will get rotated at the same time this shaft the output shaft also moves on a forward side direction when we press a button so that internal connection is made in such a way that when we press this particular button this will start rotating about its center at the same time this will move on a forward side direction when it moves on a forward side direction it comes over the flywheel okay now let's understand how it works it you have to remember that on this particular flywheel we are having a gear tooth which is having a same module as that of the drive pinion when we press a button in any vehicle when we press this particular switch after pressing a switch the electricity from the battery it goes to the starting motor and starting motor will get electrical connection once starting motor will get electric connection this drive pinion will move forward and engage with the flywheel that is what we are written here meshes with the ring gear on the flywheel and rotate it so this will move forward engaging the flywheel and flywheel will also start rotating once flywheel start rotating the crankshaft of the flywheel start rotating let's assume that a crankshaft is present on this side and then further cylinder etc arrangement is present on this side so it will start rotating and as it will start rotating what happens the engine will get start once engine get start then what we do this particular switch we release it once we release it the electricity given to the starting motor will be get discontinued and as electricity given to the starting motor get discontinued this particular drive pinion will come back and stop rotating once it come back it will be get disengaged from the flywheel and it will become it will not also rotate about its center and that's why that's why it will become stationary once again for the next time when we press a button again electricity given to this one and when we give an electricity it will move forward and also rotate about the center as it move forward and rotate about the electricity uh, center then flywheel also start rotating and as flywheel start rotating engine will be get rotated so this system get made repeated and repeated whenever we want a starting system and stopping the system so this is all about electrical starting system it's quite simple if you are knowing a motor 
you can understood this particular electrical starting system then next system and quite simple system is a battery charging system we know that on the atom while we use a battery and that battery has to be charged timely if you don't charge battery timely it will get discharged and it may not give output to the system we know the function of battery that it stores the electricity whenever it is available and it gives the electricity whenever it is required for the charge battery charging system we are use a three component the first component is the generator this is a generator second component is the regulator this is the regulator and third component is the battery my aim for this particular system is to charge this particular battery for the charging a battery we have to supply electricity to this one this another connection that grounded it will come here and it will be engaged with this one for the regulator we are having a three connection field connection armature connection and battery connection so battery connection is goes to the battery the field connection is goes to this one and armature connection will go to the armature of the generator you know the function of generator let's understand function of each component the what generator does generator takes mechanical energy as a input and gives output as a electrical energy so mechanical energy comes in and gives output as a electrical energy this electrical energy which is coming outside is going to the regulator the function of regulator is what whatever electricity which is coming from a generator it may not be in the required form required form means what voltage and current may not be in a required form as voltage and current is not in a required form that cannot be directly transmitted to the battery so that has to be regularized irrespective of whatever the input i required output in a monetized way and in the given values only so this regulator regular regulates that particular system then the battery as i told you the function of battery is what we store the energy electrical energy and give us output so how it works when we make the switch on after making switch on the generator generator takes mechanical energy from the directly engine because we are knowing on the atom boil the device which produces mechanical energy is the generator this generator generates the mechanic and uh, this generator takes the mechanical energy from the engine and gives output as a electrical energy this electrical energy is given to the regulator a regulator regulates this particular energy irrespective of the input the output value will be given a constant this output value will go to the battery and battery will get charged continuously once it get charged there are some automatic switches it becomes on and off once it get charged it will become off and further charging or extra charging of the battery will be get avoided next time when it get discharged once again we can make this switch on once it become a on again electricity will be given to this particular system so this is a simple charging system which is used in atom boy system thank you very much